In this short video, we're going to talk about the multi-axial loading behavior of concrete. So you can see here on the right a specimen, and let's say we were just to place a load F1, or a stress of F1. This would fall here on our F1 versus F2 plot. If we add a, any kind of uh, additional compressive stress, F2, you can see that what's going to happen is we're going to increase our F1, our, uh, F1 strength. If we were to make it, um, let's say, about 0 0.5 F2, you can see that our, our uh, compressive strength in the F1 direction would greatly increase. If we add any kind of tension, So we have our, our specimen with uh, F1. If we add any kind of tension, you can see that the strength, uh, the compressive strength F1 is going to greatly decrease. Uh, you know, to the point of, you know, when we have a certain amount of tension in the F2 direction, we're going to have no compressive strength. And you can see here finally, if we have tension in both directions, we'll have about the same tension strength, tensile strength, as if we had tension in only one direction.